This special video includes an airport, a prison, war, and Canada. Here is how it went. One day, I woke up to an email that said, this guy needs your help. I respond. I look the guy up and turns out he really needs help. He is a Syrian refugee stuck in an airport in Malaysia for six months. He has no home, no valid passport, and no way of getting out of the airport. Hi, my name is Hassan. I reached him on the phone and understood that he doesn't need money or food, he just needs people to get him out of the airport. A group of Canadian volunteers were trying to sponsor him to Canada. But the process takes 26 months. I went to the social media because I was really desperate with no other solution. I wanted to help Hassan. I wanted to meet him and make a video. But there was one problem. I can't meet him because Hassan is stuck in Malaysia and I am not allowed to enter Malaysia. Instead, my friend Egan and I came up with an idea. It was me who flew to Malaysia instead. I meet him in the terminal, make a video with him and then come back. Honestly, we knew it was a little bit risky, but definitely worth it. Because it worked. We put the video together, launched it the next morning, and the next thing we know, his story exploded. Millions of people wanted to help Hassan. We felt happy. We thought he could finally be free. Until all of a sudden, Hassan disappeared. He was sent to jail for talking to the media. He was about to be deported back to Syria, and that could be the end of him. You probably can imagine how terrible and nervous we all were. We were getting thousands of comments of angry people saying, your video is the reason this person is going to die. His lawyers, friends, and everybody were working 24 seven to try and free him from jail. And millions of other people on the internet were concerned. But one day, before all hope was lost, Hassan was released. The international pressure worked, and that video we made about him expedited the process from 23 months to two months. It worked. The real heroes of this story welcomed him in Canada. His life went from this to this, and this, and this. I'm now free in Canada. He is now starting a new life as a free man. I have work. I have my own place, there's nothing to complain about. What you're looking at is the best example of humanity, where a few Canadians and lawyers saved his life and millions of good-hearted Malaysians, Canadians and internet people supported them. I'm, I enjoy my life, I'm still living my dream, it's my fairy tale. Your one like, one comment, one share can literally move mountains and potentially save lives. Hassan's story is the perfect example of why you should never doubt the power of people. See you next week. People, they have the power. They can lead the change. They can be the change. Before you go, one last thing. That video you just saw, I made using this camera and this microphone. But, for the first time ever, I'm ditching my camera and I'm picking up my podcasting equipment. Because yes, I'm starting a podcast. It's called Nas Talks, it's free, and it's only on Spotify. And if you liked that video, I think you're gonna love the podcast. Because I just wanted to make a podcast about things that I would listen to, about topics that I want to listen to. Yes, Nas Talks is 100% honest and raw and deep. And by the way, it's 100% free. So keep your money and give me your ears. Because if you like this video, I think you're gonna love this podcast. See you on Spotify.